What's going on, guys? It's your boy. Dumbzo Danino. And this is part number... Technically part number three, but I'm going to consider this part number two. But we'll just say fuck it. It's part number three of Sonic Adventures for the Xbox 360. What's going on, guys? Today is September 14th, 2024. It is Saturday, and I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, yeah, I just woke up maybe a few hours ago. Got to get this stream in, and then I got to go about my business because today is um, Noche de UFC. I think that's what they call it. And also, too, Canelo is fighting. But they're all fighting for a particular reason. Specifically for the weekend of Mexican Independence Day. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I look, guys, I went to school out here in America. Um, I do carry Mexican blood. I do not know the history of Mexican Independence nor Cinco de Mayo. Um, but it's a very significant day for Mexico. Therefore, I'm going to rep my colors and show some support. Um, Canelo always fights the, that weekend of September, uh, the, the Mexican Independence weekend. And then he always does Cinco de Mayo weekend. So that's why he's fighting. But the cool twist is that the UFC also wanted to compete with them and throw their own um, Mexican Independence weekend card. So, but theirs is 10 times more unique than canelos so let me before i go into the the game i'm gonna talk about this a little bit if you don't give a flying fuck or what what about what i have to say just skip it go to the start of the playthrough but if you do care um well then listen so traditionally whenever there's a big fight in vegas it's you nowadays it's usually held at t-mobile arena Back then, it used to be the MGM Grand, but then uh, T-Mobile, I don't know if it was T-Mobile, I don't know who owns it, but they made an arena, and they named it T-Mobile Arena. So that arena does concerts, but primarily it does fights. The UFC always holds really good fights there. I went to that arena one time, and that's where I saw McGregor's last fight versus Poirier. Really nice arena. It's really nice. Um, okay, and I was going to say I think I saw a concert there too, but I didn't. Yeah, it's the only time I've ever been to T-Mobile. Um, and, well, Canelo fights at T-Mobile as well whenever he, he has a weekend over there. You know what I mean? But this time, both UFC and Canelo have a, a very significant weekend at Vegas. Canelo's fighting at T-Mobile, so they, they beat the UFC to the punch on that one. But the UFC decided to go host the card at the Sphere which is the new multi-million, probably billion, I don't know how much it is, say multi-million dollar um, arena that's in Vegas. I remember whenever I was driving around there, I looked at it, I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I looked into its uh, sphere. So it's pretty cool because it, it projects an image throughout the, entire, in, throughout the whole uh, sphere. Um, I've never been inside. I've seen it whenever it was on. When uh, I went to the last time I went to Vegas, I saw it. it was pretty cool. Um, but I've never been inside. Now, what's crazy to me is that T-Mobile is big. T-Mobile Arena is really big. I, like I said, I've been there. They house around... I've, I'm not going to look it up. But they house a lot of people. Their capacity is, you know, I want to say like... 20,000 I want to say give or take could be wrong and the sphere actually their capacity is more than that which is crazy to me because the sphere it's not an arena it's not a, a closed off thing like that inside it's more of a theater shape so it's it's very interesting to see how the UFC is going to pull that off right because usually at arenas it's a 360 you know you could then they put the, the the cage in the middle and all that stuff but this time around it's going to be like a theater and in the back i i'm very curious to see in the background what it's going to look like um so i'm pretty excited for that it's going to be really cool we have a it's a great ufc card as well and then um boxing it's uh well you just have canelo versus a uh, puerto rican guy but that puerto rican guy has been calling out canelo for years just like everybody else and now it's his time to shine, it's time to lose, and uh, get another dub for Mexico. Um, but yeah, guys, that was a little, um, you know, on a tangent, but I just wanted to talk about that. 
So let's get right into it. Part number three of Sonic Adventure for the Xbox 360. Let's fucking go. Um, and if I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys, I'm I actually uh yesterday I know I was like, oh man, I fucking hate this game. I don't know why I'm playing it, but today when I woke up, I had this weird feeling of like fuck, I actually kind of want to play. So let me see. So maybe that's a, that, that Sonic Adventure effect. The only reason that I like it, it's because it has like a semi, um, what's the word? Open world feel to it, you know what I mean? So I'm able to maneuver things like that and then go to different stages, which is why I think it's cool. The overall graphics suck though. Okay, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. I completely forgot. Okay, so Eggman took our emeralds again. Oh, I think uh, Tails wants me to go up here. No! Fuck! Oh, I gotta open up a beer. So, cheers to you guys. Beer number four. Hey, give me another beer, bitch! I wish there was like a little blimp that would tell me what I had to do, because now I'm gonna be running around not knowing what to do. There we go. Sonic, wait here for a second. Well, that's right, because we were going to take this plane to get on the the Eggman Fortress or whatever. <clears throat> well, that didn't look good. <laughs> okay, Sonic. Oh, shit. Banger right here. Sonic, hop in. <sighs> uh, Sonic, I don't think that's the best way to ride on a plane. You should probably sit down and fasten your seatbelt. Sonic's gonna do whatever he wants. Let's just say that. And Tails fucking sucks. Oh my god, look at this shit. Woo. How do I... Where am I flying? Bro, we're gonna touch those fucking uh, jet engines and we're gonna die. Oh, shit! Where the fuck are those things coming from? Oh shit, okay, never mind. I see. 
Tails, did we really have to drive around the whole fucking ship? Can you just land on the damn Eggman ship, please? You're a fucking terrible driver. There you go. No, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Just land on the stupid plane. <laughs> I have no idea what, what Tails is up to. Way to go, Tails. What did he do, Sonic? He didn't do shit. What do you mean, way to go? We did absolutely nothing to that fucking big ass ship. Stupid ass. What was the fucking point of that, dude? Now Sonic's gonna die. Alright, Sonic's Tails. dead. Okay, I guess he's not dead. Tails! How did he survive that? That chick is probably like, how the fuck did he survive that? Looking for? Okay, Moonwalk. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Fuck tails. Why is tails such an unlikable character? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because he makes so many bad decisions. So let's talk about it. What was the point of all that shit? Tails brings out his fucking tornado plane or whatever it is. Sonic decides not to fasten his fucking seatbelt or to get into the passenger seat, of which Tails didn't even have on that damn plane to begin with. They go fly up to the Egg Fortress or whatever that plane is called. Dude does God knows what. They went from the back, hovered over, went to the side, went to the front, came back around, back over hey, hey, there's no and then they got rest. fucking hit at the very top and then they by the laser and they went down and right before they get hit by the laser they were all celebrating saying that tails did a good job he didn't do shit all you had to do tails was land that happy ass plane on the fucking ship and then i would have took over but you fucking failed again i don't want tails as my sidekick but I'm sure he's gonna continue to be on my as my side, or he's gonna continue to be my sidekick because I have to go look for him. But yeah, guys, that's my take on it. On it all, I don't know where Tails is at. Why don't you try going to the casino? And we'll do what? You want me to gamble? Uh oh, blast from the past. Long time no see. Uh, uh, Amy. What's wrong with you anyway? Listen, this birdie seems to be in trouble, so you need to be his bodyguard for a while. Fuck that. You must be kidding. <laughs> if you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway. Now you can play with Amy. Fuck Amy. <clears throat> no What's... trains are currently in service. Hey, so what am I supposed to do then? I didn't want to go in there. <laughs> There's Tails happy ass right there. I mean, at least we found him. I can hate Tails. No trains are currently in service. So what am I supposed to do now? Why the fuck would I want to do that? Oh, oh, yeah, because we're... There we go. What the fuck is that? Ah, look! Eggman's 
robot's on the loose. No problem. He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware. Now what? Huh? Look here! It says, you couple get in free! Let's go! We're not a couple, you dumb bitch. Amy! Uh, w w wait! Oh, man! That girl is such a pain. Tell me about it, Sonic. You should just go gay so you don't have to deal with girls. Just like boys. Sorry guys, give me a second. Get back into this shit. Resume game. What happens if I get a hundred rings? It just says 99. Okay, see, like, this is pretty cool, guys. You know, they went above and beyond and they put, like, bumper cars and shit. Cool little stage. Oh, shit. Fucking Sonic Heroes didn't have any of this shit. Alright, now what? 
Oh, fuck, those things have bombs. No, let's do that over again. Fuck, I didn't want to... Why is there a crown there? doing here? Shit. Am I even supposed to go over here? to do that. Looks like I can go over here. Fuck. What's over there? I'm not gonna go fuck all that. That was some fucking horse shit. At least I started right here. Got my life back. with Sonic and freeing all the animals, dude. Yeah, not bad. <clears throat> Station Square. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot. I've lost Amy. No, Amy lost I you. I that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. Have some standards, Sonic. Sub game, Twinkle Circuit. I don't know if I want to do this. No, fuck this. It's just racing.
Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh my, so I do have to race first. What's up there? It says a sub game. God damn it, Sonic. Bro, these laps say that they take up to four minutes. What in the fuck? I'm gonna be racing for like the next 15 minutes. What's the break? So if I hold the, um, like the R1 button or right bumper, then he, um, he's able to turn a little better. Song's a banger. Try to make this the fastest one. Here you go. Thirty-five seconds. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Continue. Continue what? Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh my god, I didn't even have to do that. Dude, what was that? I think it, uh, it's gonna be over here. No. Oh yeah, it is. It's gonna be on the other side. Oh no, it's not. Where the fuck is that little thing at then? It was like by some grass. It might be by the beach area. So are we just not gonna look for Amy Sonic? Is that what we're gonna do here? Get it, stupid fuck! What building? In Twinkle Park? No, not in Twinkle Park. What building are you talking about? I'm assuming it's the, the far end building, this one right here. Mm. 
No, Sonic, go get the fucking key card again. What building? You keep saying that building. What's that building? Bitch! No trains are currently in service. I don't want to waste time. I'm just gonna look it up. I was um I was around the right spot, so you just talk to the manager I guess. Every office worker needs an ID card. ID cards double as security cards too. You can't get into the office without it. They shouldn't be so careless with them. What office? fucking don't have the key card anymore I don't what happened to the key card it's probably back out there where I got it yet. what fucking damn building building that shit should have already been open to begin with Fight till the end. What fucking building?
Jeez, it's that big ass one, the one that I was. Yeah, it's just. Other beer going. The Rockies are not blue, man. Fuck. That means this beer's hot. But hit it. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. I think it was going too slow. Where am I supposed to go? Sonic. Fuck, never mind. No! No! <laughs> Man, I hope I don't lose a lot of lives here. Shit. I was already here. to jump the other way. I'm an idiot. Grab onto the helicopter. You should be able to go on further. Where the propellers are dangerous. Shut be up. Careful. So 
it looks like I can't fucking... That oh, doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not going over there. Getting the easy way. That's it? Yes. Ugh. Yeah, not bad. Level C complete. Station Square. I don't know what to do now. Um, but yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right there. I know it's a very short part, but again, I have other stuff to attend to. Um, shit, I fucked up. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys. Part number four, uh, Sonic Adventure, I will be playing tomorrow. Um, so today, UFC, Canelo, have some fun, drink some beer. It's going to be a good time. Uh, but until then guys, peace and chicken grease. I am out. I'll see you guys on the next one.